Welcome back to a new series right here where we are going to try and implement security in our current setup which is an Angular frontend and a .NET 5 backend. Right now I'm using 12 and Angular 13 is already out but that's the version I'm using right now so 12 is, is the Angular version. Now what are we going to do? We already have running app where we can get all products from a backend. We just want to kind of wrap this in a secure way. So what we're going to do in these lessons, this series right here is we're going to start out by just doing a bit of plumbing, setting up everything so we're ready to make a new branch setting up different backend information like a new security pack and stuff like that. So we're going to build all of that the first lessons. Then we're going to make a way so from the front end we can send a request, a login request with a username and a password and then we're going to send a response back from the web API with a JWT token if you're a valid user. We are going to also say that in the future when you send requests now, you are actually going to send that token again back to the backend. So every time in the future, we are going to have interceptors that kind of add the token to the request in the future. So that when you are actually logged in, then we can just send that token. You can use that token to decide if you are the person you tell you are. And then we, from permissions, from all kinds of weird information, we can decide if you're allowed to talk to our clean architecture and actually get some real data from the main DB. Doing all of this we're going to introduce as I said a new area called the security layer and the security layer is just going to take care of authentication and authorization, nothing else. It's going to guard the REST API and say when somebody tries to enter we're going to go through this layer and figure out if they are allowed to enter. Are they who they say they are? Do they have the right permissions? If they do then we're going to allow them to go to what we already have in our current solution. So we're going to build all of this, meaning new database, a new layer called security, and then we're going to add some authorized attributes. Uh, we're going to extend those with permissions and doing all of this, we're going to end up having a backend that's protected against unauthorized um, access. We're also going to in Angular start looking at things like guards, interceptors, uh, we're going to look at different ways of using observables. So we're going to do all of this in order to get going with actually working with a secure backend right here and even creating a secure backend. There's not going to be a lot of test room development or unit testing or anything like that. That'll be back when we kind of go back to the clean architecture later to build more features. But for now we're just going to make a very simple security layer right here and I'm making it as its own package because then you can always replace it with a new secure package if you want to later on. So that's the series that we're going to start building now, a new security layer for our Legos for Life backend and frontend. So see you in the next lesson where we'll start this. Bye bye.